Hello there. Ugh. Just me. Excuse me while I walk over to the PlayStation 2. My microphone is not in room mode. That's right, actual non-emulated PlayStation 2. Those exist. Back for another Twin Sanity. Animal Crossing is out. Was thinking about doing that today. But, uh... Jack is not here. And you know what? I kind of feel a little more like Crash today anyway. So, we'll see what's going on with that by tomorrow. Oh, I might need to, uh... I might need to move this window again. Since we went back and did, I think, uh, Smash Brothers since the last time I streamed this. So it's gonna look boxed again. Unskippable? Unskippable. I gotta watch Traveler's Tales. There we go. All right. It looks dark. Also, this is a little odd for me. I am, uh, I'm not using the room microphone. Or not using it in room mode anyway to capture the game audio. I'm capturing it directly. So the game audio might, this would probably sound a little bit better. Result. This also means that uh, I am hearing everything on a delay, though, so that's going to sound weird. Let me see if I can, uh... Let me see if I can make... Yeah, let me do that. Let me see if I can do that. Unbox it. Crash unboxing. Sweet sounds of Spiral Mountain. Darian, uh, do the levels sound okay? Do I sound good in proportion to the game? Is the game drowning me out? Am I drowning the game out? Because I'm recording in a new method. Okay, thank you. That's what I wanted to know. How's that? Let me know how that is if the game needs down further. This is gonna be weird for the cutscenes. Slightly better, but not perfect. I need, I need perfect. I need to know exactly where it needs to be. There we go. Brought it down quite a bit more. I'm still using the uh, the snowball, so the microphone hasn't changed. Why am I not jumping? Your little hops. Kingdom Undertale, thank you for the follow. I got all gems in Crash 1 and 2 on Insane. The relics are really cruel. I can see why it took all seven hours for... Uh, did it take me seven hours for the Platts in Crash 2? I remember the whole stream being ten hours. So where we left off, we just finished the Ice World, World 2. And we're going to get Nina riding our steed, Cortex, in order to get there. Or not. I guess we'll just leave him behind. That's okay. Oh no, we get. That's right. We gotta drag. No, not drag him. Okay. No, 
just he'll sit here and stew then. That's fine too. No. See, this is the problem with me not playing a game that I don't know intimately for a while. Where am I going? Am I going to an airship? This looks like the way down, so I don't think I want to do that. I love how broken this game is. This game is very broken. As we learned quite thoroughly the, the last stream of it. I have played this before. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. Oh, there it goes. It took a while. I know I'm going to the academy. I've forgotten how to get there. Oh, uh, what happened last stream? I accidentally sequence broke and went backwards to a previous point of the story. So I'm going up there, okay. I just needed to walk straight forward from where I started. Imagine that. I'm doing uh, highlights of the Crash 3 runs. I've not gotten very far in them yet. Used to have this game myself, never could get past the walrus. The walrus sucked. Ah, fresh meat for my pot! I love my airship. It's the only way to fly. Hey! So, I'm watching this on, like, a one-second delay. So, uh, this is effectively a Hong Kong dub with lip-syncing comparable to Sonic Adventure to me. Uh... We saw this. Oh. Didn't we do this? Did we do this and it didn't save? Or maybe we did something similar to this, but not this exactly? These loading screens just, they look like concept art. They're a very different art style from the final game. Because, see, now I'm facing this way, though. That's what confused me. I assume I'm going this way. This seems right, right? Am I going the right way? Darian, help me out here. I did I rented this game when I was a when I was a wee bab. And I did finish the I finished the story. I did not get all the gems because you have to hoof it everywhere. It's kind of a pain to get all the gems. And they're not it's the only way to fly. They're not like the previous games and getting all the boxes or completing challenges. It's uh they're just collectibles. Oh, what? What? Huh? Hold on. Why'd I dash like that? Well, welcome to the next little bit of the stream. Okay, there we go. Oh. So, uh... Oh, the cutscene play. Oh, no, that's it. We're here. That was fast. Uh, we mentioned a lot last stream that the aliens are voiced by Quentin Flynn, who is Cone in Bleach, and it just sounds like exactly the same voice. Bleach is continuing. The anime is getting the final arc animated. 
in 2020. So that's ah, cool. Yes. I'm happy about the that. The old alma mater. As a former student myself, I'm well acquainted with the many secrets this institution holds. Minimal sound effects. Just watching the cutscenes and the animations in this game. That one wasn't too bad, but a lot of the previous ones. You can tell animations weren't finished. Like, it feels incomplete. And I've said that about other games. I said that, that about uh, Mario Sunshine, about Sonic Heroes. This is the most incomplete feeling of the three. This must have just been a time in the industry where publishers were just putting the squeeze on developers to get this shit out as quickly as possible on the next generation of consoles. I mean, I say that, but the first next-gen crash game was Wrath of Cortex. Which was also not... It wasn't anything amazingly new, but it was a finished game. It felt like a finished game. Oh, that's more news. Apparently, Wrath of Cortex is getting a reboot, a remaster. According to Darien, or was that just a rumor? Why, why can I do this? I don't mind that I can do this. Use pipes to flush Cortex through sewers. Okay. It's not like toilet humor is anything new for this game. Uh, I remember how to control this. Jump and it's like not jumping half the time I expect it to. Can he not? Can he not activate the switch? Can Cortex no do? Oh, that's right. The slide jumping is also different in this one. Can this get a remaster? This needs more than a remaster. This needs finished. Which I don't know if a remaster would do or not. If they would add some of the... The greatest evil scientist in the world! Stuck in a pipe. How could things get any worse? I hope they would, like, uh, re add some of the content that they didn't get to put in this game. Or if they would just kind of do what they could with what made it into the final game. I would be happy if they, you know, finished it proper, made it just all around better. Get to see uh, Evil Coco. It's like Futurama. They are trying a lot of different, like, uh, styles of gameplay in this game. None of them feel especially polished, but they're trying things, so that's nice. Uh-oh. Oh, that's an instant reset. Alright, just wait for the pipes. Are you, uh, are you new to the stream, Undertale? Did you just, uh, wander in on Twitch? Oh 
We streamed Undertale Genocide years ago. I never got around to finishing highlights of that. Well, welcome. Usually I have another fella here with me. There's usually a, uh... Wait, where'd he go? What happened? Huh? Well, I'm glad it reset me here. Usually this is a co-stream, but the crash games I tend to do solo. The, those are about the only ones. Just got... Oh, I get it. Just got Animal Crossing. That might end up being a solo game. We'll see. So, are these time limited? There's that. This entire game is almost entirely an escort mission in some form or another. Which wasn't one of the Resident Evil games like that? I have no experience with the series, I've just heard these things. supposed to be collecting these letters? No, that's still an N. Never mind. Uh... No? But N. I'm very confused. Nothing. Nope. Definitely feel like I'm missing something. if he got a game over every time he fell off a ledge. I'd rather not. I mean, even then, what would that do? It'd send you back to the last gold checkpoint, which was the start of this section. It's not great. We got into a discussion about the Zelda remakes earlier today. Oh, that now he'll shoot them. Okay. Mostly about the Majora one, which did obviously a lot of things wrong. That video, that a video, that opinion has been just done to hell at this point. That's also worth acknowledging the things it did right. Like it resolved. At least the two major complaints people had. Oh, that's, that goes away. It addresses the two major complaints people had with Majora's Mask. And if it had stopped there, it would have been great. Unfortunately, it also introduced a, n a bunch of other shitty changes that were very unnecessary. Well, now that he's not in uh, pipe form. He can teleport back, so that's fine. How oh, is this game not a meme yet? I, don't, I didn't realize people were nostalgic for this game until recently. That other fellow who's here, Darian, has told me that... Uh, I guess, in addition to the original trilogy, this was like the next most popular with fans. Often requests for a remake. 
I'm just I'm taking his word for it. I could jump higher last time. I'm having more trouble throwing him than I did previously. I mentioned in the first stream, this, uh, the way the game is laid out is a lot more similar to Jack and Daxter than it is Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Which would be fine, I guess. It's a different take on the series if, you know, it were just completed. Give it to me. Still, I wonder how... Uh, I think there's a good chance this could get the remake. I really wonder how well uh, Wrath of Cortex will be received if it's remade using the engine of the original trilogy. Because it wasn't, it wasn't a bad game. It had some cool levels, cool, cool gimmicks. I actually liked Wrath of Cortex more than I liked Crash 3. That said, I can feel the the engine differences. And if those were gone, I think the game would be received a lot better by people. No, no. Damn, why did I do that? You'd think he would run away as soon as he was free. Cortex? There's a very weird, not thoroughly explained partnership in this game. I, I imagine even that aspect would have been given a little more time, given the development time. <laughs> Possibly hentai anime. Wait, what? Where'd he go? That possibly hentai anime that the guys on the Discord, well, one or two in particular, like to talk about, came up in conversation in Ganon Court, and now I, I am double banned in Ganon Court. They made a double banned roll just for me. God damn it, Cortex. I don't remember Nina at all. I know she's like a third playable character, I think, right? But I, I, I guess she jumps around, has a gun, right? I don't, I, I don't remember how she plays. Again, I've only played this game once, so. Okay, so I need to get both. I need to get all the valves before I do anything with Cortex. Wait, uh, huh? I needed that. Come back. Oh. Okay. Camera. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I like that camera angle. I, I can't get it down. It's stuck. It's caught in the rafters, guys. And it's affecting the way... Okay, there we go. It was affecting the way he moves, because the... Because movement is uh, positional in this game. Like, you go forward based on where the camera is facing. 
game needs Jesus. He has more personality in Crash Tag Team Racing. Well, most of the characters do by that point in time. Tana has personality. Arguably. Probably. In Tag... Well... No, I'm thinking of Nitro Fueled. Okay, buddy. If I missed something, I would have to do this whole section over again. Hope I didn't miss nothing. Or if I miss one of these jumps, I would have to do this whole section over again. This is a pretty unforgiving section. Doesn't help that the rolling mechanic is not very, uh... Refined? Oh good, checkpoint. No, 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 no. Okay. Is this the stuff in nitros? Is that what's under us? I do once again have my coffee. Because once again, coffee and crash. get Japanese for lunch today because I just felt like it and uh, they're closed. Most places are still doing takeout orders with uh, with the virus. Not them, they just, they just closed. So I got Fred Meyer sushi instead. more things appear. Nope, more things have appeared. There's a very weird sequence. Oh, no! What? Hmm. It was an unceremonious game over screen. Is my X button not working well? I'm gonna have to do that entire Cortex rolling section over again, aren't I? I wasn't even paying attention to my lives. Yeah. Alright, speed run time. Can't skip. I'm stuck! In pipe. The greatest evil scientist in the world! Stuck in a pipe. How could things get any worse? Why are you screaming? You're not doing nothing yet. Hello, Loma Ro Rodriguez person. I, I probably didn't read that right. I gotta now scour every area I go to again. To be sure I'm not missing blue valves. The way the next way to go only appears after you spin the valves makes this whole section very linear. But it's still very unforgiving just because it's instant death if you fall anywhere. Or if Cortex falls anywhere. Also, if anyone was any if anyone was keeping account, sewer level. I guess Crash usually has one of those. This is extra live. Great. Are these nitros necessary here?
checkpoints mean very little. Because everywhere is instant death. I don't have the ultra spin from previous games. I don't have the crouch jump. Crash is missing a lot of moves in this game. Compared to previous entries. How did Wrath of Cortex do it? That was the same as Crash 3, where you unlocked basically the same set of moves over the course of the, the game bosses, wasn't it? I started, uh, I started Spyro Reignited offline, just off stream, because I didn't figure that we would get anything new out of it after having played the original games. And I just, I needed games to play on my own. And it actually feels weird to control. Like, thus far, I, I like the original game's controls better. I didn't feel any noticeable differences or jank in the Insane Trilogy for Crash. Which Darian mentioned, he felt a difference in the way uh, slide jumping is handled. But I was fine with it, and now... I'm having trouble moving around in Spiral. Half my X, half of my X buttons are just getting eaten. And maybe it's the controller. I can switch to the other one. jumping changed ever so slightly. But it was because of the way that you were, uh, what was going on? You were, you would like completely release the circle button before moving to the jump button. Whereas I just kind of, I went more fluidly from one to the other, so I didn't notice a change. That bug is, it just will bounce on the on the, the poop water forever now. That's what this is, this glowing green fuming stuff that we're, we are in the sewers. Apparently, uh, evil genius academy students have radioactive stool. People complain about the, the pill-shaped hitboxes in uh, Insane Trilogy. Well, hitbox, singular, for Crash. And it affecting jumps and things, which maybe I felt minimal, minimally during, like, uh, Crash 1 Stormy Ascents, but it wasn't that, it wasn't that serious. I think a lot of people's reactions to it were having not played the original games in a while. I think a lot of people thought, oh, well, I beat this as a kid, so they must have been easier back then. And I've said this before, I never even really considered the Crash Bandicoot games to be especially hard of platformers. Granted, I grew up on Nintendo hard, with like, I, th I think the last levels of Mario 3 are harder than Crash levels. And, uh, like, Mega Man. Even Sonic at times. Platformers in general got to be pretty hard. Quite often. Rayman. I grew up on Rayman. I had no patience for people call it Crash Bandicoot, ca Crash Bandicoot hard. Y'all are babies. I, 
I, I would love a Rayman remaster. That That's a game that I feel needs it. Rayman 1. Because it's got a lot of great things about it. It also needs quality of life improvements. Namely, getting rid of the lives. The lives didn't really serve to make the game any better. And giving it a proper end boss. We streamed Rayman. I got highlights done for that. Love the game. But uh, the fact that there's no non-100% ending... You have to do absolutely everything in that game in order to get the ending, and it's not even that it's not that great an ending. Elsewise, I think the game is fantastic. But they haven't really done that in any of the uh, the remasters thus far, have they? They haven't they've tweaked physics, but they haven't added content to any of them. They've added, like, features, like the, the relics in uh, Crash 1 and 2, which that was nice. But it's not like they added new cutscenes or anything. That has not happened with any of the remasters, to my knowledge. Which doesn't give me hope for a remaster of this game. I don't think they would do... I don't think they would put the work in that it needs... Unfortunately. Wrath of Cortex has the opposite problem. That just needs the new engine. Like, put it on a new engine and it's it's great. It, it'll, great. It'll resolve most people's complaints with it. If it's on the Insane Trilogy engine. Odd. You'd think uh, often the remasters, the remakes, are ways to uh, gauge interest in new titles. I kind of expected us to get a uh, new crash after the su success of uh, Insane and Nitro Fuel. Said so they're just remaking the entire series. Which I'm fine with. I, I like that we're getting a, a Wrath of Cortex remaster. The most they can do remasters of is like that and this, though. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't remaster. Uh, they wouldn't remaster Crash of the Titans or Mind Over Mutant, would they? Are people nostalgic for those? They're making a new Crash game. It's PvP type. Crash MOBA confirmed. Create your Bandicoot. It'll be like Sonic Forces character creation. I hope all the things are there. I can't even see where he's going. Where's he at? Ah, oh, things are happening. Okay. Well, it must have been a success. gonna fall there. Should I have done that? Okay, yeah, we're good. I still hate the lab. The lab sucked for the relics. Because it was all timed shit. We had to get all the timings to line up together. not fight him yet? I guess not. Cozy, ain't it? Rumor is you two chumps have got your mitts and some treasure. And I want a piece of that pie. I have no idea what you just said. Well, this is an arbitrary conflict. Who's telling them we got treasure?
gravestones? Dingo Dial, right? Like, uh, part dingo, part crocodile. But, pig noises. Well, now this doesn't sound like Spiral Mouth, it sounds like uh, Radiohead. No, please. He doesn't even get cool animations in this game. be upset if I had to redo the entire ball section if I lost to Dingo Dial. get a papu papu fight in this game. He was just there. Uh, once again down to one hit. Because I'm apparently terrible at remembering his attack patterns. Now he does the up and down. God damn it. Oh, what? I also do not seem to get pity masks in this game. That was not a feature they decided to continue implementing.
please put me at the start of the fight. That would be lovely. Oh, good. Was Oxide in the crew of villains at the start of the game? Is that dude? Hello, Trog. I keep thinking he's gonna do the thing right after that one, and he doesn't. Okay, seriously, though. Crash Bash remake. Pretty please. Okay, and then he does the too tall one. Got it, I'm, I'm remembering now. And then he does the up and down. Which I have not yet successfully dodged. And I cannot slide in time. well uh, nitro fuel did oh, well, maybe sales figures were going to determine whether the next thing they remade was a crash platformer or a crash party game nice to have something to compete with Mario Party. At the moment, there's really not anything, though. Damn it. Sonic Shuffle Remake. Sonic and Crash can just, like, get together and do a board game. Sonic and a Crash Party. I did it. I finally avoided it. And then... Oh, can I just walk under that one? What, huh? What happened? Huh? I'm very confused. I don't know. I was just standing there and then I was a little crash angel. Did he send fire through the vents like an anime character? We 
found out last stream that the uh, unconscious bodies of the defeated bosses in this game can kill you. Found that out the hard way. Uh, Trog. I forget, do you have a switch? And if so, do you have Animal Crossing? Because I know that uh, Eli does and uh, Sandy does. Does not have Animal Crossing. Oh. Was planning to do that today. I think uh, plans changed, so uh, tentatively plan that tomorrow. All right, this time for reals. What? Oh, okay. So he started the too tall flame attack, and it's hit scan. Like, it immediately reaches the entire length of the screen. And just no, no conversation. Sorry, we didn't have the budget to get him back in for a post-fight cutscene. Oh, that's right. This academy has hygiene problems. Well, that was a very unnecessary distraction. Gotta have them sewer levels. Did that do anything? There's nothing up here. Okay. Lives are good. Feels like a different game. Like th this particular was I not supposed to do that? Did I just cheese something? I feel like I just cheese something. I don't know what this feels like. Like grabbed by the ghoulies. This isn't like a setting, an architecture that I associate with Crash Bandicoot. Mother. As a former student myself, I'm well acquainted with the many secrets I did it again. Holds. I sequence broke. Back to a previous part of the story. Hello, Cal. Can I go back? Can I go back up? Where'd I come from? Here. I think this is the right way. Kind of see early Sly Cooper being in a setting like this. Crash Bandicoot in a school feels wrong. It's like Ed, Ed and Eddie in school. You don't do it. Ha 
hall monitors? These are children. We're, we're beating up monster children. What trying to do? Trying to play Crash is what I'm trying to do. The uh, odd... One of the odd outliers of the Crash family. Find it a little more comparable to Jack and Daxter. Oh, so I gotta watch for the flashlight. I, I was curious what the tell was. Why are there explosives in your school halls? in the immediate vicinity of students. Oh. Oh, th that array of solid black is a pit. Is part of the black a floor? I can't see. Uh, I assume the fruit are safe, briefly. Sort of those dangerous wizard schools like Hogwarts! I don't remember bottomless pits in Hogwarts. That said, I agree, it seemed like a shitty place to be. The Harry Potter world never seemed like a happy world to be in. That's kind of what I never quite understood about, like, being a Harry Potter fan. I'm gonna try this game with no help from friends. I mean, it's not... It, it controls a little bit wonkily. It's not that, like, impossible to do. Just the story, certainly. I mean, I did this as a kid. 100%ing it, that would take time and effort. Lots of collectibles. I don't like this slide jump. Am I supposed to not be able to see the floor? stuck on the architecture. I wonder if this game was just too ambitious, if the publishers were too demanding, or probably a combination of both. What have we got? Probably more the publishers. I don't know why I'm even collecting the gems, to be honest. And no, I'm not going to 100% this game. That said, I don't know what they unlock, either. Darian, you still here? I'm curious if there's any Spiral Mouth in the Nitro Fueled soundtrack. I know they still did the soundtrack for Tag Team Racing. Let me 
just want to reiterate, I don't like this room. Invisible floor room. The, uh, I'm looking at the op screen, which is the second delayed. That's what's killing me, because I'm trying to wait for the audio cues, and I can't really do that with the way I'm set up. Cutscene, we done yet? Why'd it blow up suddenly? I got a life, so that's great, I guess. I see these crystal ballrooms. I'm reminded of the haunted mansion. I want to do this. Okay, good. That didn't sink the platform. here for a second. Is he not gonna... He's not doing the flashlight animation. Go on. Oh, it doesn't start until you pass a threshold. raised mandrake root here? Should I be careful about possessed teachers? Ah! I didn't bounce on that like I thought I would. It is rising, right? Yeah, it's rising. Are those a bunch of little cortexes? No, it's like a robot. Why is there green lava all over this school? Or I guess, given that we were previously in the shoe in the sewers, why is there shit all over this school? That those were nitros. What have we got? Why is there rising green shit in this school? Are the sewers leaking? Did I do this? Oh god, Hogwarts, I'm sorry! Crashes caused the great Hogwarts shit apocalypse of 2020. Oh, I want that. How badly do I want it? That badly. Alright. I can't. There's, there's like no shadow when he's jumping. Ah! Okay. Well, it's a good thing I had lives. You ever been to a library before? Is this what they're like? Is there green, like, sewer shit rising all the time in libraries? I thought I'd been to libraries before. Maybe, maybe I don't remember them like I should. Oh, Darian, you're back. Uh, 
I wanted to ask you, do they... Is there any Spiral Mouth in the soundtrack to Nitro Field? Do you know? So it wants me to go this way. How? I can't go this way. There's no way to go that way. This door is a lie. The walls will ooze green slime! It's not even, like, satisfying enemy hit sounds. That was one of the best parts of Crash, was the enemies would go, like, just get thwacked and go flying off into the distance. It was great. Not in this one. It says right, but I can't go right. I have to go left and try to beat the floor that you don't know is going to fall until you've been through the part at least once. I'm fine. We're good. It's a very demanding part of the game for, what is this, chapter 3 of 5? I mean, I guess Crash games are known for scaling and difficulty pretty quickly. Are we at the top yet? Oh, hey, a gem. Cool. They just gave that one to you. And that's another invisible floor. No spiral mouth. Well played, says Trog, as I walk into a pit. This has to have, like, been intended to be lighter, right? I remember I had to turn up the colors in Ratchet and Clank. Was this, a, was this just a thing with the PS2? Was it always this dark? Where am I going? I guess I'm going this way. I can only barely see the platforms. Where am I going now? Over here? Uh, sure. Ah, no. Door frame, please. Is this a pit? I can't see below me. Oh, I'm good. Okay. I'll take it from here. Get back to the airship. I'll keep it to where it at, because sure it's it's I didn't change the colors. I didn't change the colors for the first uh, Twin Sanity stream. So I don't want to change them now and have it look weird. I might just have to do this for, like, all PlayStation 2 games, though. Because Ratchet and Kingdom Hearts were both just super dark. Uh, oh, this is, uh... Oh, those are just crates. I don't need to shoot those. This is, uh... Run forward? It's a swarm of bats. A uh, rat rats. Okay, so this is, this is a boulder chase level, but instead of boulders, it's... It's the rats. We're the rats. This school has a lot of problems. He also cannot jump. Cortex terrible at jumping. I try not just fire all the time. I can't see in front of me. So I kind of just have to. I'm invincible now, except that doesn't work on Nitro, so it's still not really invincibility. And I'm out of ammo, so that's his run cycle now. I can't break boxes? I can't break boxes without ammo. Huh. How, how am I going to get new ammo? 
Oh, okay. I, I have a dive dive attack. And frogs. Well, this is a magic school. For all I know, these are students. Is this okay? I guess it's not actually a magic school. It's a mad science school. Same thing. Can I kill all the things? Uh, I have to kill just enough of them. I guess. That's not incomplete programming. Did I want to do that? Can you send it back? Oh. Ah, there's still one. Good jump. Okay, see you later, Darian. I don't like playing as Cortex. I like to more in Crash Bash. I like being able to jump in a platformer. That's a nice feature. I get good I get good jump height off of boxes. Also like that uh, Uka Uka makes exactly the same noises as Aku Aku. We don't need different ones. I did. Yeah. This feels like uh, Spyro 3 all over again being made to play as characters that the engine was not designed for. So what's the counter? That's three. Four. Five. Six. I think that's what I got. Is that a floor? Am I gonna fall? Oh, well, I shot it, so it just doesn't matter.
And it's another forward running section. Great. Almost ran into those. Remember, at the last second, invincibility does not help you against nitros in this game. Also, very short, I'm learning. Oh, it doesn't help you against TNTs either. Just spawn me in front of two robots. That's fine. React, motherfucker. There's so many of these crates. It feels like it's designed for you to have invincibility. Not that that will do you a whole lot of good. I did not get that ammo. There we go, got ammo. I almost don't want to fire. Because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit explosives and die. Why the invincibility doesn't even kill enemies. Is this not like the shittiest invincibility in any video game? I hesitate to call it invincibility, because it's not. You are very invincible to many things. And another one of these rooms. I don't remember this part of the game fondly. And I'm now remembering why. Honestly, Cortex would have been fine without limited am without limited ammo. The ammo limitation doesn't make this more fun. I want to hit these. I would love to be able to, like, aim manually. The auto-aim is very wonky. Okay, got a crystal. Sweet but I guess we need to collect those. You fear the night with its long claws that scratch and its sharp teeth that bite. Under the covers, there's no need to hide. For your uncle's a monster, and he's on your side! <laughs> Nina, my adorable young niece. My, my, you're getting big and sneaky. Put her there, little lady. I see they need some adjustment. Let me take a look. Okay, young lady, let's see what you've learned. And here we have new the character. She spin, she jump. Not, not good, not as good as crash jump, but she jump. She has retractable fist. I don't remember playing as her at all. Which probably means we don't do it that much. She also cannot double jump, as I just learned. Can I punch nitros? I can, good. She can grapple, but doesn't feel like it's going to be very optimized. Jump, grab, and reel in. Okay. Ugh. 
It's, it's there. It's a mechanic. My airship! Without it, we're stranded! Tie it to something secure, I said. Hurry, Nina, or you'll miss the bus! Okay. Still cutscene. There we go. And it fell. Because no double jump. Oh, she she gets fall damage. Oh, what Lyoko anime eyes. Okay. Why does she have fall damage? Crashed it. I he gets stunned, but I wasn't even pressing any button either. I, just, I, I thought it would just fling me onto the roof. Hurry, Nina, or you'll miss the bus. I forget that all the chapters have names. I guess they're levels. So I can't. I just have to make a really precise jump. <clears throat> Barely. Fall damage, thre fall damage threshold is. Want that? I want that life. Lives are valuable. That was too close. Did there need to be a jump here? I'm unfortunately finding more to dislike about this game as we go on. I was, I was kind of willing to give it give it a chance in chapters one and two. This this one's been kind of rough. And more precision jumping. Ah. Oh, it's at temporary platforms. Okay, got it. Oh, these these are. Alien enemies. I didn't recognize them at first. Still weird to have multiple hit point enemies in Crash. Also, why are the school robots attacking me? Should not they be on my side? They just have uh, schools roaming the halls at all time for uh, combat training for the students. Did I want to do that? I 
I'm, I'm just waiting to get past the school part at this point. Waiting to get on to more game. Greener pastures. That was almost bad. Well, what did that do? Nothing? Forced diagonal camera angles. Always great. Great in every video game they've ever been in. Double jump. More diagonal. I'm sorry, you don't want to hear me complain about everything. Circle punch is rather precise. Probably should have got this first. What have we got? Okay, checkpoint. Story checkpoint. Are explosives. This game is kind of buns, Zellrod. It is indeed kind of buns. I myself, I myself was at least a little nostalgic for it, having uh, having played it as a child. I do not, I do not now defend it. People who uh, are wanting a remaster of it. I wonder how recently they have played it. Oh, that's a sword. Did they not realize that you could punch out nitros? Is that not intended? They keep putting all of these uh, detonators around. And I did not hold forward. Cool. Where am I? I also keep expecting the double jump because she is otherwise similar to Crash. Too close. What have we got? Okay, see you later, Trog. Thank you for the bits. I need to uh, I need to get on adding those bit emotes. I need to come up with some to add to the channel. I have not done so yet. I guess I could not destroy the explosives. But come on, it's, it's about the only fun I'm having. What have I got? I can't remember if I've been here before. All this level looks the same. I know I've done that sequence of jumps before. Probably in an earlier part of the level, and they just duplicated it. No, 
depth perception, no shadows, everything's too dark. Okay, checkpoint. It's a godsend every time I get to one of those now. Oh, the enemies actually run from you when you're invincible. Well, the rats do, anyway. Please, just give me a straight 90 degrees camera angle. No diag diagonality, is that a word? I can talk. And that, okay, that time I moved the stick. And instead of going to the place I wanted to go, it flung me through a building. So sometimes you have to move the stick, and sometimes you have to not be pressing anything. And the only way to know is to fling yourself into the abyss once. Camera? No, I shouldn't. There's a mask there. There we go. So I'm not gonna press anything this time. There we go. What? The swords are there before they spawn, though. Could they not figure out how to make the swords come out of the portals with them? I'm sure with a little more budget and time they could have done that. Unfortunately, budget and time are things this game did not have. I was holding the sticky and I almost flung off. Is it over yet? And then running from, what am I running from? Okay, there's the blimp. The dirigible. Mm. Just taking a drink. Shouldn't have done that. Skip. Cannot skip. Unskippable cutscenes. The trait of any good video game. No! Do I ha I have to watch the cutscene every single time I restart from this checkpoint? You know it didn't need cutscenes to trigger boulders coming after you? Crash one through three. has so little jump, they have to make a line of boxes all the way across for you. Nope. Right into nitros. Which, I mean, she has more than, more than Cortex, but even Crash doesn't have as much jump as he usually has in this game. For a platforming game, this game was really not designed for platforming. They don't want you to have an easy time. As we all know, the best thing for platforming games and difficulty is a lack of mobility. That's how you make it harder, is that you make it so your character can barely move. Oh my god, I'm dead. I am so dead. Is this what every day in this school is like? Is this what Hogwarts is like? I don't think we're gonna get on to chapter four. I think this might this might be the entire stream is chapter three, the school. I don't remember the chapters after this at all. I don't have a run button. I can't like run and do my arm thing. So I can't like punch the things out of my out of my way as I go. No, it's nitro. I'm good. For now, I'm not almost not good. 
Oh, I need that. Oh, oh. That was a hook. I, I didn't realize till it was too late. And that wasn't a global checkpoint. So if I run out of lives here, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to do this entire. I'm gonna have to do the entire rooftop section again. What a mean thing to put at the end of the level. And they put all of these masks here as if it matters. As if everything is not an instant death regardless of your mask status. Uh, okay, I'm here, now what? Now that? Well, I did not activate that, so not getting that gem. That's fine. I just want to not game over. That's all I care about right now. I don't know if the bus is still chasing me. It's not going to come inside the school. Buses don't do that. I know. I drive one. They found us through the airship. Quickly! Hello? Please die. I'm shooting you. Uh, is this to the airship? This looks like the way to the airship. The platform is Cortex. You Whose laugh is that? That is... Madam Amberley. So, crybaby Cortex is all grown up. I see you found employment as a barber. She sounds familiar. I'm an evil scientist. I wonder who that is. A scientist, are we? To me, you'll always be a little verb. But what what have we done to what have we done to this woman to merit a battle to the death? Am I supposed to shoot her? No. Oh, uh, this seems an unwarranted boss. At least I have infinite ammo, I think. Oh, and I'm back here. Well, at least I get another shot at this gem, because I guess the bus is no longer tailing me. Again, don't know what the gems unlock or why I'm necessarily bothering with them, but when in Rome... At least she has a shadow. Crash and Cortex are apparently vampires. Or ghosts. These vampires don't have reflections. They found us! Through the airship! Quickly! Now, what happens if I go to the fight with no ammo? Nope! You are in detention! Madam Amberley! So, crybaby Cortex is all grown up! I see you found Does everyone in this school have a letter on their head? I'm an evil scientist! A scientist, are we? To me, you'll always be a little verb. You know, I liked when Cortex was kind of an intimidating villain in Crash 2. That was cool. Remember that? I like that.
Also, the charge mechanic doesn't really do anything. There's not really any reason to ever charge a shot. You might as well just rapid shot all the time. Like, it's not gonna deal two bars of damage to her if I do it then. missed one. Can I not just shoot her? What about her physiology makes her immune, immune to laser bullets? That she's fat? Is that why? Came to the school, got attacked by robots, killed several student hall monitors, and then murdered a teacher. And now we're going to leave on our getaway blimp. Oh, I crash. No, I haven't done anything evil since I last saw you. Please tell me we're done. There's not more level, right? Hey, who's that? No, oh, just a lady. Just a scary lady. Where go? How leave? Escape. Escape. Exit. Why did we need all this again? Why did we need Nina? Is there something she could do? That no one else could for this endeavor? I think I remember now. The way it happened, happened. Victor! In your cage, you naughty boys. I was eight years old and the most popular Jimmy student Neutron? in the academy. Ah, yes. How they loved me. It was my first experiment with the Evolvo Ray. Phase one in my plan to create an army of super animals. The test subjects but... by two pet parrots, Victor and Moritz. The only but Embryo invented the Evolvo the Ray. The experiment was proceeding as planned, when suddenly... My parrots were gone, lost amongst the infinite dimensions. I was heartbroken. That, that is a model to rival the Ice how Age I baby. those twins, and how I long to see them again. But be careful what you wish for, young man. Back off, Grandpa! For your wish will come true. 
It almost sounds like Jimmy Neutron. Oh, what's the name of that voice actress? If that's her, that would be like a full circle. From Young Cortex to Jimmy Neutron to... She now voices Coco Bandicoot. Oh, I'm back here now. Okay, uh... Where am I going? Am I going in here? I'm going in here. Come now as we explore a new dimension. It should have been only one of these three characters speaks. Oh, so he admits it. We, we were gonna have more dimensions, more worlds, but we ran out of time. Your fur is so soft and warm. I'm sorry. Evil crash! No! Come along. As if we're supposed to know this character already. Was he in the handheld games that I have not played? It's like when Dragon Ball just expected us to know Jocko from that obscure Japan-only doujin or whatever he was from. Him to Bulma's sister. I guess we're in a parallel dimension now and are on a volcano. But Evil Coco is not in the game because they didn't have time to make Evil Coco. So I guess World 4 is other universe volcano. We're already almost at two hours. I can go beyond that if I want to. I'll go a little bit longer. Okay, Crash, what happened to your fruit cannon? That would be useful in a lot of these scenarios. This world is just full of explosives. Hello, Darian. My daughter. Uh, and niece. here we go again. We must do something. Think, Cortex. Think. Why does he make that mistake? Is there something about Nina that we should be privy to? Can't have a twin sanity stream without Cortex ass music. No scream, didn't have time to record one. Oh, I'm not supposed to hit them. Hey, Darian, you don't happen to know or have the ability to... Well, no, you're on your phone, never mind. We heard, uh, we heard Young Cortex... And I thought it sounded like the voice actress of uh, Jimmy Neutron and nowadays Coco Bandicoot. I don't remember her name offhand. So despite getting very close, I cannot seem to catch him. I think I'm just supposed to get to the end of the level. And he's gone. And I'm gone. He also acted like he knew Evil Crash immediately. Do you, do you know if Evil Crash is from the handheld games, or was was he introduced before this? I know Fate Crash is the beloved, long, history character. I cannot make this jump. It was Jimmy Neutron, okay. So she did come and she came full circle. From Young Cortex to Jimmy to Coco Bandicoot. It's funny because his balls are hurting. Laugh!
And that's a hole. That's a hole. Oh, I'm fine. I'm not fine. I think she did a, uh... She was part of a voice acting workshop that I was invited to. That particular voice actress. That's a wall of dynamite. I think that's my last... That's my last life. They just took a bunch of concept art and made them the game over screens. Okay. Also dropped a line flat out acknowledging that there were going to be other worlds, but they ran out of time. I really wonder how the uh, introduction of Evil Crash and Evil Coco would have gone. Given the intended time and budget. This fucking jump. How is that the hardest part of the level? That's that spot right there. Missed the rail. Shouldn't have said anything. How many voice clips do we want to get for Cortex riding the rail with his groin? One, repeat it endlessly. Sounds great! Where's the giant wall? It's coming up. Here they are. Lives are good, I need those. I can't see my character models in the way, and I can't move my camera. We just come into the same ridge over and over again. They're reusing chunks of level design. And I don't know why they even put red TNT crates, because there's functionally no difference between them and nitro crates in the context of these levels. Also, somehow Nina and Evil Crash are fine going over nitros. Does not bother them at all. Oh, no. Okay, good. Come along. Don't have to do more of that. I like how Cortex's teleportation still bothers to do the platforming. Are they, are they chasing me up the wall? Oh, there's fall damage? This way. And they're spiky, so I have to assume that I cannot kill them. Okay, jungle. Evil Insanity Island. Do I want to go over here? This doesn't... This looks like a side thing. This looks like a lot of hassle for a gem that's on lockdown. So I'm not going to do that. 
basically almost done with the game. Okay, so are there four worlds? I thought there were five. Maybe that is the way to go. What? Blew up? I felt a rumble. Now this is the way to go. There they are. Just Let her hanging go. out. Take me instead. So if you count, like, uh, what are the crash knockoffs? There's crash, there's evil crash, there's fake crash. I guess that's as many Mario knockoffs as there are, if we talk like uh, Wario and Shadow Mario. thing. What can I do with this thing? It, it gone. Where it go? Oh. Wait, what? Is it floating? I don't think it was programmed for this. Hello, magical gravity ball. Oh, now it's coming down. I did the thing. What did I do? Oh, it was a gem. Okay. Crash Bandicoot did not need fall damage. Can I, like, free her? Does Crash not know how to untie knot? Let me in. I want to see evil Coco. Uh, you know Evil Crash is evil because he's got spikes all over his house. Nope, pacifist mode. I hate the, the slide jump in this game. I really don't like it. Oh, it's an escort section. And dead. Masks don't protect you from shit. I guess they never protected you from drowning, though. I, okay, X button didn't work. Bye! Jump on those again, aren't I? Wait, do I still need that? No, I don't still need that. Oh, ow. Okay, mask can save me from that, at least. Damn it. Somehow I'm still alive. Still fine. Really, really, really want to zigzag it. Ah. Come on. Ow. Oh! Slow. 
Alright, come on, Cortex. There are indeed many baps. It's so hard to jump on these precisely! on his end. I wonder what Spiral Mouth's doing these days. They have a very niche sound. I don't know what else they could do besides Crash Bandicoot. since Tag Team Racing. Yeah, I believe it. This doesn't seem as bad as the bees part. So far, this has felt more forgiving. Oh, I didn't want to do that last one. Well, rip. Let's die together, Cortex. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, checking is gonna cost me a cortex, I think. No, I'm good. I like jump around this. Nope. Had to try. Uh, they should, like, uh, team up with PewDiePie. Make an annoying noises compilation. They'd be good at that. Become YouTubers. Kids love these kinds of noises. Land crash! It wasn't even the nitros. He just walked into a thorn. Yep. I'm gonna run out of lives here. I just did run out of lives here. How far back are we? Is this the start of the start of the escort? Yeah. Come on! Oh, 
is really tight. Like, they want you to jump on it, but it's so precise to try to land on it. Because you have three dimensions. It's not like Mario. Well, it's not like 2D Mario, anyway. I mean, if there's as little of the game left as you say there is, like, how much time-wise do you estimate is left? Could I finish it within an hour? an hour left. Okay. This is the final area, right? We go through, like, whatever levels are left in this alternate dimension, and then we fight the boss. Why is that island there? It's just there to distract you. Oh, I needed to be over there. God damn it. Be a real shame if I ran out of lives again. I wouldn't be happy about that. last area, period. I should have been pausing to look at the little uh, level art. Ow, oh, it didn't double jump. Down to two lives. I guess three lives, technically. That was a thing people had different names for back in the day. Between extra lives, extra guys, universally one-ups. I heard one-ups and extra lives are valid. front of me. Where am I going? Oh, no! Why no can swim? This 
is uh, quite an extended section. Lux Lang really did just get enough from voice acting once he took the role of Cortex. I should look him up. He's probably been doing other stuff that I just am not familiar with. Almost did it again. Come along. Why, why could you not teleport this entire time? Too scurred? Ah! It was just, it was gonna moonwalk me right off the edge. It was just gonna phase without moving his legs. Not moonwalking, I don't know why I said that. Checkpoints immediately after checkpoints. tedious and not worth it. Let's do it. Thankfully that didn't kill me. Fall damage is very arbitrary in this game. Nope. I'm good. I suddenly stopped caring. Gem, surrounded by nitros. What does it want me to do? I'm good. I don't need to spin explosives. I'm good without doing that. Victor and Moritz is stronghold of evil. This Moritz. is where we wrong the rights and sweep the past under the rug. We're not getting Nina panty shots, are we? I can't tell. Not, I don't want to tell, but... Being a schoolgirl in a video game, it's a law that she must wear an extremely short skirt, apparently. Energon Spheres. Okay. That's a pit. Welcome to uh, Proto Ratchet and Clank. The role of Clank today will be played by Aku Aku. Oh, those are explosives. I, guess I knew that. But... Oh. Hmm. So, how move? Loading time's not as bad as uh, Wrath of Cortex. First release of Wrath of Cortex. Probably comparable to the version I have. They did, uh, I mentioned this during the Wrath of Cortex stream. On the PS2, like, Greatest Hits re-release, they were able to, uh, cut back the loading times significantly. So I can't walk into it. I guess I just don't need to fuck with it. I just need to step on these. Now, is this timed or is this forever? It seems to be going forever now that I push the button. On with the Energon. Nope. Pass this mode. Don't need to worry about you, Mr. Monkey. Ooh. 
he can take one hit. As long as I don't kill him, it's pacifist mode. Alright, no more pacifist mode. I, I guess they're monkeys. Kinda hard to tell, honestly. Why do they gotta have multiple hit point enemies in Crash? I don't like that. We don't need that. Unnecessary feature. Crash enemies don't need multiple hit points, and Sonic enemies don't need multiple hit points. I don't hear any mouth noises in this particular track, which is unusual for this game. Unless that's someone going... But I don't think it is. Oh, there it is. I hear someone wailing in the back. The double jump is kind of uh, critical to this game's platforming. It'd be almost undoable without it, I dare say. jump all the way down there. Invincibility, worth fuck all, doesn't kill enemies. Only helps minimally against attack. to get that thing? I think I do. But how do I get it across the gap? Not like that. Almost. In, Kai in Kaizo Twin Sanity, these don't respawn. Oh, I guess that's what the uh, metal crates are for. <sighs> nitros, nitros everywhere. So let's all blow the fuck up. Hope so. Way they're lined up. I wonder what this factory's doing. Just a bunch of lights and gadgets for nothing. Gotta be doing something. Nope, did not make that jump. Did not make that jump. Gonna have to do one of those weird slide jumps that I don't like. No! Try 
I double jump again. Barely! I, I second guessed myself. Can I? Okay, I can slide them for some reason. I want that. How badly do I want it? Badly enough to trade for it, I guess. I gotta make this stupid jump again. There's a little, you can kind of walk off a little bit and survive. The edge is not where it looks like it is. This is by far the least spiral mouth track in the game. They didn't think they were cut out for the final area. Oh, get incinerated. Uh, is that all gem stuff? No, I need to go across that. Hmm. That's a good way to go about this. There's one. Again, very demanding, which I guess is not that surprising from a crash game. It's not the baby game. It's not Dark Souls, but not the baby game. I'm not gonna make that. I made it. Okay, good. Cool. Checkpoint. No. Get out of here. Die. The whirring sounds remind me of Bomberman. We almost done yet. Oh, well, more of those. It's like fighting Lizalfos, but way lamer. That one can't make it over. Oh, yes, he can. All right, come over here now. Done yet? Please. <sighs> Interestingly. A gauntlet of the same enemy in the same pattern over and over again is not very interesting. Isn't that interesting? There we go. No? Oh, well, whatever. You guys can keep spawning if you want. I'm not having any of it. Y'all can have that platform. Not done yet. Not done yet. No, I want that. Shouldn't have made. Shouldn't have gone for that. All right, we're on to Mega Man platforms. Blue or red, green, blue, yellow. Ow. So does this guy respawn? No, I didn't kill him quite. Come on. Uh, what? Oh, uh, all right, that's new. 
I'm, I'm up for new things. G a good game continues to introduce new things all the way up to the end of it. Aku Aku sees the strangest things for a shaman. Like, what, what other mystical shaman characters can say they've been on adventures through mad scientist laboratories? Nope, don't want to mess with them, just gonna leave. Except I can't leave. Oh. Red, green, blue, yellow. Nope. Alright, they're done. I'm good. Just stunned. I ain't dead. Uh, still there. Hmm. Did I not go high? Did I not get them all? Uh, there was one more. Nope. Too soon. phase into the wall there. I'm making the mistake of trying to rely on sound again. When uh, I am a little over a second delayed. Shouldn't be doing that! Having some real problems with this X button. At least those don't kill me regardless of mask level. Those explosions are more forgiving. lot of chance for it to fuck up. That gem looks entirely not worth going for. I might be going to that platform anyway, though. Guess not. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Red, green, blue, yellow. made a goof there. Nope. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for it. Down to three lives. Checkpoint. 
I'm getting very quiet. Having to focus a little bit for these last sections. Guy, get some masks. Get some useless invincibility. Push a ratchet and clank thing while invincible. Those are some nitros. That's a thing. That's also a thing. I'm gonna have to roll both of those things up. First, though, that seems like a good idea. Slide. No. Can I push it? I can push it. Nope. No, I didn't want to do the jump! didn't even go off, it just touched them. I have no memory of the final fight in this game. I don't remember how bad the final boss or bosses are. I imagine they're in a giant robot. side's way easier. I did the hard side first. I say that. One of the few mechanics they got almost finished in this game. The ball rolling. That's about it. Damn it. Very mad if the camera caused me to walk off. I wouldn't be happy about that. Maybe I was, maybe I spoke a little bit too soon about the harder side. More dangerous side, sure. Yeah, first jump, great. There's not a gap there. Second jump's a little harder. Okay. I was very wary about uh, sliding off. There we go. What else happened today? I, uh... Brought up oh the anim. Oh. I almost forgot. Cut the treasure. Our treasure. Yes, we are rich. That treasure is stolen property. It's a little late to develop a conscience, Doctor. Personally, I don't care, but I think he might want his gems back. Oh, hello. <laughs> of all games, hmm. he had he had to cameo in this crash game. Had to be this one. That was such an un a random, unnecessary cutscene, too. What's coming up next? Is this final area? Final boss? No, there's more level. 
This looks like it could be a hallway before a final boss. It's just a hallway full of nothing. Full of fuck all. I was wondering if those would blow up. Seems spinning them was a good idea. This looks like a final boss arena. Well, well, well. Apparently, you two little rascals have been very busy since the last we saw each other. Busy finding a way to meet you again. Your failed experiment sent two innocent parrots to the 10th dimension. The severe reversal radioactive conditions here sharpened our skills and warped our fragile eggshell minds. Well, of course. Ingredients? And then wacky music? Recipe in the evil villain cookbook. <laughs> you see, Pops, when it comes to evil scientific prowess, we learned from the best. True. Now, playtime is over! Victor, Moritz, back in your cage, you naughty boys. That worked. What am I doing? Curse my regimented upbringing. That's it, Cortex. You want to make up for lost time and play with your pets? So be it. Would not an apology have solved this? Also, Nina was there. She exists. Giant robot. Do not punch. Punch bad. Got it. I am I gonna have to watch this unskippable cutscene every time I fight this boss? Oh, good. X skips it. Twin Sanity Island. I get it. But skipping it removed the music? Okay, it's back. Oh, uh, what was I saying? So a couple of the guys in the art of the fourth seat discord have been talking about an anime that has, I guess, been popular lately. That is about a monster girl harem? And I think it I think it's a regular anime. I don't think it's a hentai, but I don't know. And I brought it up in uh, Ga in the Ganondorf Discord because a similar topic of discussion was happening. And I got double imprisoned. Not just imprisoned, double imprisoned. They made a brand new role for me for bringing up the interspecies reviewers. Which I highly recommend Googling if you're at work, by the way. That can't possibly end up poorly for you. It's not really a band, though. Again, of course, it's cheeky. Uh, more enemy gauntlets. Uh, I should probably be hitting, like, that big glowing thing on the outside of the arena, I guess, right? That thing that I walked by? What is this? Oh. Why she gotta fall and get hurt herself, though? Also, she skips. Why she gotta skip? She gets a voice later. Oh, there's those down. I guess I gotta do that with all the things. There's nothing there. There's like a teeny hook in the air. I can't see what I'm grappling on. This track is more in line of what I was expecting from the final, like, sciencey area. It's future techno sounding, but it still sounds like Spiral Mouth.
Wait, the birdcage got giant. I just noticed that. What have we got? Not looking forward to Cortex's phase. Cortex is my least favorite to play of these three. Say so it goes Crash, then Nina, then Cortex. hit. I don't got a slide, so I can't move faster. Oh, that was it. Oh, that's a, that's a damn shockwave. I could not jump, because I'm Cortex, and Cortex is terrible at jumping. Alright, this could take a little while. But why is Nina here? Why did we need to go to the school to get Cortex's niece? To resolve this conflict? I don't understand. Side first so that I can finish on that side. Seemed like a good idea to avoid getting hit. Alright, Cortex phase. Hello, Gandarian. I'm at the final boss, still questioning why Nina is here and fumbling with Cortex, because I don't like playing as Cortex. I wish there was a strafe command. What have we got? I mean, there's like a, there's like a roll, like in Spiral 1. But there's not like a hold to continue facing forward button. Like Ratchet. Imagine this game not being complete. Still just hooking onto inv an invisible thing at the top. Go to this side first. That seems like a good idea. Can't skip. Unskippable. Oh, 
even with the dive, I can't really avoid it. It's tough anyway. Okay, good. The worst arm is down. Damn it! Yeah, this game is very short. If I mentioned I don't like playing as Cortex. Nina does not really have any way to move fast. Cortex has a bad way to move fast. And even Crash doesn't have anything that amazing because of that weird new slide jump they gave him. Nope, I will come back. I think I mentioned this while you were gone, Darian. This game is very low mobility for a platformer. You don't have a whole lot of movement options at your disposal. don't know how to reliably avoid that. Continuing to move does not seem to do anything. Maybe I should go for that arm first. I hope I reset and uh, am fighting this boss again, because that, that'd suck if I wasn't. I came over it against Dingo Dial, and it reset me in front of him, so it should be the same here. By the way, this, uh, this probably goes without saying, but uh, I ship Nina with Timmy Turner. I think they'd make a cute couple. was a buck teeth joke in case you missed it. when it's firing.
uh, not repetitive at all, this boss. I am dealing damage to it, right? There it goes. That took long enough. Well, I found my formula, at least. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Please go down, arm. No. Am I not dealing damage to it part of the time? It's hard to tell. There it goes. I guess I have to be aiming down the, the barrel. Oh, we can jump out of it after a point. There we go. All right, crash section for the first time. And Crash is a giant robot. Why does Crash have a giant robot? He's got the Mecha Bandicoot. How did that get here? That was in the other world. Okay, he's got a sword. I assume that is a force field that I cannot enter. Would this be Crash's final smash? The Mecha Bandicoot? I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I'm taking damage from coming in, entering the force field. Am I... Oh, I can shoot through the gaps in it? Yeah, I can shoot through the gaps, okay. I think. Am I, am I doing nothing? Am I doing anything? Getting hits every now and again. I saw the health bar that time. Got him! Chainsaw! Let's get out of here! But why are they here? Just looking for shelter. Just suddenly they're here. And then Evil Coco shows up. Oh man, what does Evil Crunch look like? Oh boy! I love roast chicken! Well, this is one heck of an ending. <laughs> <laughs> but he just had to apologize you know, Crash, to the parrots. All these years I've been that would have resolved you. everything. Your creation was a mistake, and your existence has been a constant reminder of that mistake. But I've learned something from all of this. I've learned that you can't run away from your mistakes, but you can bury them! I never want to see your ridiculous face again! <gasps> huh? The 
fully animated Nina for the first time. Where am I? What is this? Oh, I want this version of the song. This is bang music. This game was weird. Oh, there it was. Are these the voice actors? No, there's way too many of them here. Traveler's Tales, they are the guys who do the, the multiple choice games, right? Or am I thinking of someone else? Oh, Yurikom was still involved in this? What were they doing? They made Crash Bash, and then I didn't, I thought that was the end of their involvement with the series. I wonder if they were involved with uh, Wrath of Cortex, too. Sorry, I didn't say that in the correct voice. I gotta do the Hercule. <clears throat> this game was weird. Oh, that's right, that's Telltale, not Traveler's Tales. I was confused, because this was a very... There's a departure for them. From what I previously know Traveler's Tales to have done. Now that's Telltale Games. Totally different group of people. You know, there's not a whole lot of point to credits if they're just in a big jumble of names without listing what they do. I, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but the music is the best thing that we got out of this game. I guess... I guess Naughty Dog or, uh... The... Uh, the present owners of Crash just gave Spiral Mouth some sound bites to use. Or maybe Pinstripe's laugh was a public domain sound effect. I believe that as well. There they are. Original music by Spiral Mouth. Other music by Spiral Mouth. Why, why is there a distinction? Come on, list the voices. There we go. There he is. There's Lux Lang. Mel Winkler. That sounds familiar. Debbie Derryberry. Oh, so she was doing Coco by this point in time. She was Coco and Young Cortex. And Quentin Flynn. Oh, Quentin is Engine. I think I have tag team racing. I'll check. If, uh, I'll have to listen for, uh, Quentin Flynn again when I do tag team. I like playing as other characters. That was a neat touch. I wouldn't have minded it if they were better. I don't, I don't really even like the way Crash plays in this game. But I, I've made my opinions on it pretty clear throughout, so... John McCain. Oh, no, John McCann. I'm sorry. That's Chinese knockoff John McCain. Different dude. Crash Bandicoot will return in another racing game and then two mediocre platformers. Oh, and here we are, just in the ice. I, I guess the ice world is the closest thing to a regular hub. It just dumps this off. And then from here, if I were to get all the gems, I would just have to manually walk back to all the places in order to get them. And that's how that would go. That's how you 100% this game. But I'm not going to do that. I've had my fill. 
just three hours, not too bad. I don't remember how long the uh, first stream went. It's probably also like three hours, so five and a half, six hours for uh, this game. That's enough for me. Oh, that uh, moving off the scene got rid of the game capture for the audio. That's it for me. I've got my stream in today. I'm going to figure out what uh, we're doing with Animal Crossing. If Jack is not super invested in being a part of it, then that'll probably just be another Zelrog solo stream tomorrow. But uh, with or without Jack, I think the plan is Animal Crossing tomorrow. Thanks for watching. It's fun hanging out. I'll see you next time.